Hi guys, welcome again to my channel. Today I have a witchy unboxing for you because I have a secret satchel uh, that I have to unbox. Uh, this one is I think from March. I can't really remember the theme but the spoiler card will tell us in a bit. Uh, but before we dive into this, oh it smells nice, <laughs> nice smelling uh, secret satchel. Uh, if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Megan and welcome to Quill Scene. If you like things that have to do with magic, with Harry Potter, with Disney, with Star Wars, with Marvel, with DC, with anything geeky really, with writing, with reading, with books, then you're in the right place. Make sure to click on that magical subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell because in that way you'll always get a notification whenever I upload a new video. But uh, yeah, let's quickly discover what's in this yellow secret satchel. As usual, before we start, a little bit more information about Secret Satchel. Secret Satchel is uh, the monthly witchy subscription from uh, Curse and Curses. I will link them down below uh, because Curse and Curses is an uh, online um, witchy shop uh, that is based in the UK. Um, every Secret Satchel um, has another theme and uh, they come in a box and when you open that box you will find um, an envelope in which the spoiler cut and the art print is hiding and then of course your satchel which is a cotton bag and in that bag are all the items uh, sometimes it happens that an item is a bit too big to fit in the satchel and then um, the bigger item will be loosely presented into the delivery box um, that's about it I can tell you about Curse and Curses, uh, so let's quickly uh, look at what I received when I opened my delivery box. So uh, as you guys can see, the secret satchel for this month is a yellow and contains a lot of items. And then there's also the envelope and yeah, there are a bit oil stains, so I think something has leaked, but we'll see. So uh, yeah, I like always to start with this um, yeah, envelope. As you guys can see, there are a bit of oil stains, so I think something leaked. Uh, I hope it isn't too bad. Um, inside we find some papers, and I think that's everything in this one. Oh no. So um, what we also have is their little business card of Curse and Curses. But again, I will link uh, the website um, down below in the description. So the first thing we see is uh, this page, which is a spoiler card. And uh, this one is indeed the May Secret Satchel that has a theme Beltane. And Beltane is one of the uh, witchy holidays. So the back of the spoiler card is actually a Book of Shadows page. And in this case, it uh, has more information about Beltane. Um, Beltane is actually like, um, a festive mark of the start of summer um, and uh, in England it's mostly, it's mostly known as May Day um, so uh, the think about uh, dancing around Maypole and stuff like that that's Beltane. Um, on this Book of Shadows page we have um, a, res a recipe to make honey cakes to celebrate uh, Beltane and then also um, we have the connection uh, to fire for Beltane because Beltane is uh, actually the um, ancient Celtic word uh, that means bright fire. Uh, and then also, of course, uh, the lily of the valley is like the uh, flower for Beltane because uh, it marks the beginning of summer. And um, yeah. Lily, Lily of the Valley. It's called Lily in the Valley uh, of the Valley in English, but in Dutch it actually is called Meerklokjes, which is literally translated uh, Maybells. So um, yeah, it's again the the link with the month of May. Um, so yeah, that's what's on this a Book of Shadow page. I'm not going to read the back yet because then I'm spoiled for the entire um, unboxing or on satcheling, however you want to call it. Um, also, my art print is a little bit damaged thanks to the oil, but again, I think it actually gives a cool effect, so it's not that um, worrisome. So we have a beautiful art print, we have like a pentacle, we have 
leaves and flowers and of course a huge flame and it has a little uh, like um, yeah it's not really a spell it's more like a cantation incantation um, for um, yeah, to celebrate Beltane, it says, On the night of Beltane, the fire shall burn to usher in the Sun King and to usher in the Sun King and welcome his return. Hand in hand on this night, the Lord and Lady sing, Joy upon the land and gifts that they will bring. Days will now be longer as the power of the earth grows stronger. Trees shall blossom and flowers will bloom, bringing forth from within the womb. Upon Beltane, light a candle and make a wish into the flame. Be happy, rejoice, dance and sing, as this is the most joyful time of spring. So, uh, yeah, a little um, like poem-like uh, chant to uh, celebrate Beltane. Um, you can hang these um, on, you can frame these and hang these on your wall, but I usually just add them to my uh, Book of Shadows, along with the Book of Shadows page because, uh, yeah, that brings gives a little bit of color to my Book of Shadows, so yeah. That's uh, our art print. Then it's time to go for everything that's inside our secret satchel. So let's rummage. Oh, the first thing I find, and maybe this one is the thing that leaked, I don't know. Um, it is a triple moon air freshener and it is vanilla scented. So uh, this is how it's packaged and it is like, again, the triple moon, uh, triple goddess uh, sign. And it's an air freshener that you can hang in your car or somewhere in the house. Um, and it, oh yeah, it smells nice. And I think this is the thing that leaked because it, it kind of smells like how my satchel smells. So, um, yeah, maybe this one has leaked a bit. I don't know, but yeah, this is our first item that I find. Uh, I love anything that has to do with moons. So, um, yeah, I'm going to see if my mom wants this for her car and otherwise I'm going to find it, uh, a place in, uh, my study or something because Again, I love the sign of the moons and of course the triple moon plus it's an air freshener that has vanilla as a scent and it's uh, it's a lovely vanilla. So uh, yeah, really, really fun item and useful item. Then we have a little uh, jar, well, tin, and it says that this is a Beltane Fire Shampoo Bar. Ooh, nice. I have been wanting to try a shampoo bar actually because uh, shampoo bars are um, yeah, basically bars of soap, but then for your hair. So, um, and it's more eco-friendly because it doesn't have packaging, plastic packaging. Oh, this one smells nice. There's even like a hint of fire in it. So it's wrapped in tissue paper and it looks like this. So it's basically like the bottom of a cup I think they use for it because um, they make their soaps and wax melts and all and everything themselves. Oh, it really smells nice. Oh, it has like a little hint of fire and citrus and oh, I love it. So I'm really, really curious to use this one because as I said, I've been wanting uh, to get one of these for a while now. Uh, I'm going to see if I can read on the um, the label if I can see the label is a bit like um, faded but I can see that there is it's an orange blend so that was the citrus that I smelled so yeah really fun item really original because uh, as I said I have wanted to try out a shampoo bar for a while now and um, never had a shampoo bar yet in a, in a subscription box. So yeah, really, really cool. I'm going to put you guys over here that I have a bit more room. And then what else do we find? Ooh, we have a little burlap bag. And when we open it, we have some stones in there. And they are like these. It's almost black, but if you look very close, it's actually dark green. Um, they remind me of uh, Moss Agate. I'm not sure if it is Moss Agate, but they remind me of that. So, um, But I'm sure the spoiler card will tell us in a bit. I love the dark green um, color. So, as I said, 
when when it's just when the light hits it it's like you can see the dark green but otherwise it's almost black i also love the little imperfections on the stones like there are like small specks in the color and discoloration and of course some some nicks and necks um, in the um stones but yeah really love them i'll check the spoiler card in a bit to see if i was right and if this is moss agate but Usually I'm not that good into recognizing uh, gemstones, uh, but we'll see. Then I'm going to put my satchel a bit closer. Uh, let's go for the big box because it's a bit in my way. So we have a big box. Oh god. It says Nemesis now. You have to know I am a huge Nemesis now fan. I have lots of things. The last thing I bought was and it's it happens to be right next to me i wasn't it wasn't planned i swear but what, the last time thing i bought was this um tarot card box with of course a cat on it um and the inside is like it's it's um designed as if it's like this this um stone coffin that you usually see on these fancy um fancy graveyards and even the inside don't know if you guys can see it well. Even the inside is uh, designed like that. Um, and on the bottom uh, of the coffin, you can see that you have like the pentacles, um, the cups, the wands and the swords, which are the um, four um, signs that you uh, have in a tarot card deck. So yeah. I've been wanting this this one for a while now and the last time I was on an event uh, there was someone who um, had a lot of Nemesis Now things so I bought this really really happy but now I'm really curious what's in this box let's quickly see we have styrofoam always a good start no way You have to know, as a witch, Nemesis now, well, Nemesis now is very witchy and gothic like, but they have gorgeous cups. And I mean, like, not just, you know, cups like mugs, but actual, like, chalices. And I've been meaning to get one for my altar for a while now, but I never did, and now I'm happy because. We have a Nemesis Now Chalice and it is one with a dragons on the side and like the stem is like scales almost and then the um, bottom is has like Celtic knots and signs ah, and then the inside is stainless steel so you can actually drink from, from it. Um, though I'm probably not going to, I'm just going to use it as like a display item, but look how pretty. <gasps> oh my god, I can't believe they put this in a box. Because it really is now, it's now it has a sticker on uh, the bottom of it. Ah, uh, This one is, wow, this one is I think the best item I ever got in a box. This one is just stunning love 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 this one really good job <laughs> secret satchel really good job i love it but there are still other things in our satchel let's see we have um one of our paper baggies and it says that this these are lily of the valley soy wax melts um again they um make their own um, soaps and wax melts uh, so those are all handmade um let's see Ooh, they are pretty Ooh, they smell good Ooh, there are a lot of them in so we have all sorts of um flowers we have like this one and you have like tulips and flowers like this they are really small and really cute i like it and then we have i think uh, a rose i love roses 
and then also this one and they they really smell like the lily of the valley um yeah flower i really love these wax, wax smells they are almost too pretty to burn or well to melt um but yeah really really cute forms and as i said they are all handmade uh they really smell good so yeah, one day they will end up on my wax melter but uh, for now they uh, will uh, go in my wax melt stash because i have quite a few by now uh, but really love the shapes and the scent because um, lily of the valley is actually one of the scents that my mom also really loves so uh, when it comes to like an air freshener or room spray or something like that she usually goes for lily of the valley because it's like this very um subtle smell uh, so it's not overpowering which is always a good point uh, for a room spray i find a little bottle and in the bottle it is like with a cork now we have herbs and a scroll inside and it says that this is a Beltane spell jar uh, created from a blend of mint, uh, mugworth, thyme, marigold, uh, uh, fragrance. I think it's it, there is the the label is again faded. I can't read that much. Um, and then there is also with a scroll uh, that contains a spell for belting. Uh, the gloss spell jar has been created for you in your Beltane ritual, uh, to use in your Beltane ritual. Um, it is used to call up for fertility, abundance, um, and then, yeah, to invoke the powers of the earth. I think it is, as I said, I can't read much of it because the label is a bit faded. But yeah, I love spell jars and I love bottles like this. So yeah, really, really fun item. Then we have another box right here. And we also have another yeah, tin. And then, yeah, and we have our cotton bag. But yeah, so our cotton bag will go for the tin first. Um, as you guys can see, it's like this really salty structure and it is a dead sea honey scrub Ooh, another bathroom product so um yeah again the label is very faded so i can't read it um the um tin is also um yeah taped shut so i'm not going to open it but as you guys can see it is basically a salt scrubbed scrub um with um yeah i guess honey in it um really really good for your skin um that sea salt is also um it's always good for your skin so uh yeah really really fun item and it fits with our um, shampoo bar and then the last item is in this box Ooh, it says that this is a wooden tree of life box hmm. quickly snip it open with my scissors because now I'm really curious. Okay. And then it's also wrapped in uh, some tissue paper. And let's get rid of the. Ooh, pretty. So we have a beautiful wooden box. And it's like this antique looking box. And on the inside, well, on the inside, on the top, I mean, not on the inside, on the top is uh, Yggdrasil, also known as the Tree of Life etched. And when we open it, yeah, we have our little pack of um, silica, silica gel. Be careful with these um, because they sell up when they get uh, wet. So be sure that there are no kids or pets that run away with these packages. And this is the inside of the box. Really fun. Uh, I love boxes. Uh, I think that is like the cat inside of me. Um, but yeah, I I like them to, to store trinkets and stuff like that. So I'm pretty sure I can find a use for this one. Really, really beautiful box. And yeah, will look pretty on my altar. 
And with that, we came to the end of our Beltane secret satchel. So now I can take back our boss of uh, Book of Shadows, also known as Boss uh, page, and turn it around for our spoiler card. So uh, the first thing we had was a Celtic design Beltane chalice, which is the nemesis now one. I'm still so in love with this. Uh, Beltane is a Celtic word which means fires, fires of Bel. Bel was a Celtic deity. This chalice is the perfect addition to your Beltane altar and features a hand-painted Celtic design, cast in resin and with stainless steel inserted for ease for cleaning. Indeed, so um, what you should know about Nemesis now, everything they do is hand-painted. So that's why it costs a little more, but it's just stunning. I, I mean, I love this one. Um, then we had our hand carved tree of life uh, wooden trinket box, which was uh, this one, uh, also top item if you ask me. A hinged box made from mango wood. Ooh, love the color of that one. Featuring a hand carved tree of life design on the lid, perfect to add to your altar to store herbs, crystals or incense resin. True, very true. I can also use it like on my nightstand because I was looking for like a little box to um, store my um, headphones <laughs> for, for my iPod and such. But uh, yeah, I will see what for what I will use this one. Then we had uh, our Beltane spell jar, a blend of mix. Uh, a blend of mint, mugwort, thyme, marigold, and frankincense and yarrow with the scroll spell for Beltane contained within. This glass spell jar has been created to assist you in your Beltane rituals, wishing you wishing for fertility and abundance from the earth, mother of in the season of fire. So I guess that was also in the label, but again, the label is quite faded, uh, so I can't read much of it. Um, then we also had our Beltane Fire Handmade Solid Eco Shampoo Bar, which is in uh, this little container. It is a handmade solid shampoo bar with a unisex fire scent. See, I, fire is my birth element, so I'm very, very sensitive to like a uh, sense of hints of smoke or something. And then the, it, already, it always makes me happy when I like to so, like, you know, smell a burning candle or a burning bonfire or something is like ah, fire <laughs> yeah um so with warming cinnamon again a scent i love blood orange and rosewood essential oils no surprise that i like the scent of it um presents in a reusable tin did you know using one bar of solid shampoo can stop up to three plastic shampoo bottles whoa going to landfill as well as being completely natural and chemical free yeah nice I really wanted to try this one, so... Then we also had our Beltane Honey Scrub, which is in uh, this tin. Um, a blend of Epsom salts, Dead Sea salt, and with a sweet and fragrant honey scent. Perfect for use in the shower or bath to exfoliate, soften skin and leave you feeling refreshed. Partially good as a food scrub. Alternatively, dissolve a little of the scrub in a warm bath for a sweet and relaxing bathing experience. Yeah, you can use them also like um, bath salts. So yeah, really, really good for that. Next item, we had our uh, little soy wax uh, lily of the valleys that came in these cute little yellow flower shapes. Uh, perfect for a Beltane, Lily of the Valley symbolizes love and fertility and has been used since the 1500s as a symbol for affection and appreciation. With the, with the tradition of giving a small bouquet of Lily of the Valley for good luck and happiness. And as a celebration of the end of winter. Um, again, we also do uh, Lily of the Valley when, when we see that um, the little plants are in the stores. My mom brings a few of them also, so uh, yeah, really fun little wax melts. Um, then we also had our air freshener, uh, this one. With a sweet vanilla fragrance, these air fresheners are perfect for hanging in the car or in a room to create a fresher atmosphere. Yeah, 
they really really smell good and again it's a triple moon triple goddess so yeah really really happy with those uh, then we come come to the um, our stones and it are moss agates it is it are actually blood stones that are were tumbled um, traditionally associated with Beltane with properties reflecting fertility and courage, Bloodstone also has grounding and purifying properties. With its ability to ward off negative energy and purify and cleanse the energy around it. So yeah, really beautiful uh, Bloodstones. Love that the one is a little bit smaller than the other and the other is like a bit more... The bigger one is more pointy. So uh, yeah, love these. And then... Um, Last but not least, we of course have our little Beltane print. Our in-house artist has created a Beltane, Beltane chant print um, piece with a warm and spring-like feel to hang up on your walls during the Beltane, Beltane season. Yeah, as I said, you can hang them or display them on your, um, on your altar when uh, Beltane comes around. Uh, but I usually just add them to my book of shadows. And with that, we covered all our items. Um, also, of course, you have the little um, book of shadows page on the back of the spoiler card. So, time to pick a top three. Mm -hmm. I think on number three, I'm going to put um, the fun uh, Beltane spell jar. Um, Yes, the label could have been of a better quality because the ink has been faded so that it's kind of hard to read. Um, but still, I love the look of the bottle and then the herbs with the scroll in it. So yeah, really, really fun item. This silver medal goes to our new uh, favorite trinket box with uh, the Tree of Life. And I really love the the um, color and and the um yeah the structure of the mango wood that it was carved out of so yeah that on number two but the treasure of this box and you guys probably already know what i'm going to pick is of course the chalice from nemesis now with the dragons and um yeah all of the little Celtic details. So yeah, I was planning to buy a chalice of Nemesis now, but now I have one. So uh, yeah, this one will look so pretty on my altar. Ugh, love this one. So yeah, that was my top three. Feel free to let me know down in the comments what you thought of this box, what was your favorite item, what was your least favorite item. Did you celebrate Beltane this year? Just let me know down below. Also down below, but then in the description box will not only be a link to Curse and Curses, their shop, uh, but also to um, my Instagram and my blog, because as usual there will be lots of pictures concerning these items uh, on my blog, uh, on my Instagram and on my blog. There will eventually be a blog post um, in both Dutch and English. Um, that is basically this entire unboxing written out. So feel free to click on those links and give me a follow there too in case you're interested. Um, I think that was all I have left to say. Uh, so thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a little thumbs up because it's more than you know. And hopefully I see you guys soon for a new bookish magical video. Bye.